So basically you should know that they can take an apartment out of you in case if you are defaulting on payments. From time to time, I get uh, these uh, questions from people on the market. Uh, some, some sellers are approaching me and saying, oh, oh, like we are behind on the payments, we need to sell the property. Some agents as well are coming to me and asking me what is happening in this case. So let me explain you what will happen in case if you are delayed or if you are defaulting your uh, payment for the property according to the payment plan. First of all, we need to talk about penalties. Uh, so the developer is usually apply a penalty uh, on you after one month from the date when they uh, ask you to make a payment. So you have one month to complete the payment. After that, it's usually 1% on the amount that you need to pay. So let's say the value of the property is 1 million, you need to pay 100,000 and 1% of 100 is uh, 1,000. So you, your penalty will be 1,000 and you need to pay 101,000. Uh, so, as you see, the penalty is not that big. And I had cases where uh, my client was paying for this penalty for 12 months and uh, he was waiting for a very, very good offer. He received a very, very good offer. It was an incredible deal for him. It's not like he was waiting, he couldn't really pay. <laughs> he has uh, an issue with the, uh, with the finance and uh, he was trying to solve it. And uh, uh, like while he was trying to solve it, the price was growing and he exited uh, in a very uh, good uh, terms for him. Uh, the buyer covered the, the penalties and the developer released the unit for, for the transfer. So such things happen. And um, yeah, 1% on the amount that you need to pay is not uh, bad. But sometimes if uh, it, it takes too long, the developer like will have to do something about it. Uh, as usually the developer will send you several emails asking you to make a payment. Uh, don't worry about it. It's uh, as usually automated uh, emails. It's not like somebody is really after you and looking like, oh, why you didn't make a payment? Why you didn't make a payment? It's a system that sends uh, these details. At some point, they will tell you, okay, now we we'll need to approach land department, Dubai land department. So this is where you need to get a little bit worried. Once they approach the land department, the land department will approach you. And this is where you have your last chance to extend uh, this period. Like you can send them an, uh, an objection letter and uh, save a little bit of more time. And during this time, you need to find a way to find the money to make a payment and cover the payment. Or obviously you can always find somebody who will buy your property. Like just keep in mind that it's way easier to sell the property that is closer to the completion rather than during the, the construction period of time. During construction period of time, investors will wait for the deal where somebody is defaulting. And if you are exiting during construction, they understand that there is a problem over there. And maybe if they will wait a little bit longer, you will reduce the price lower. Uh, so that's why like your goal should be uh, to keep the unit at least until the uh, completion of the project. But if you find a way to cover all the payments, uh, doesn't matter even if the market went down, you can hold the property until the market uh, recovers. Another thing that uh, like I can give you as an advice is that consider approaching uh, a lawyer uh, if we're talking about sufficient amount of uh, money. And uh, the earlier you do it, the better, so they can communicate with the developer. And uh, even if you don't approach the lawyer, you understand that you will solve the issue uh, by a specific time, uh, don't ignore the representative of the developers. So try to answer them something. Yes, I'm working on it. I'm trying to solve this, this and that. This is what I'm planning to do in case if you can send at least something. So uh, don't get silent and don't ghost them. Stay in touch uh, with the developer in this particular case. In my experience, we never had a case where a developer really took the entire property from the client. We had cases where losing their like booking fees, reservation amounts, because like they changed their mind at some point. Uh, but in my experience, we never had the case where a developer really took the property from the client, but it's my, in my experience. Uh, maybe such cases um, uh, exist on the market. And as usually, as I know, developer, the land department tries to take the, give a favor to the investor and give him uh, some time. First of all, try to always to uh, budget right. And um, in case if you are uh, in default, just keep in mind this information that I just told you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them uh, in the WhatsApp or send them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.